Project Convergence 22 to me is, um, is ensuring that we can link advanced manufacturing across the sustainment elements of the UK, the US um, and Australian forces. Our key success has been the ability to receive um, designs and files from the United States sustainment forces, um, convert them to uh, a suitable UK file format and print parts so that the US can send us files uh, for spare parts that they require that they can't get through their own supply chains. We can print them and provide them to the United States for use um, on the battlefield. So it's really important in the future that the, um, the, the REMI and equipment support are able to conduct repair by repair forward on the battlefield um, and that needs to be regardless of supply chain disruption. So if we lose a supply chain we need to be able to produce parts forward um, and we also need to be able to link maintainers to a, list, uh, a wide network of subject matter experts, which is what we're trying to do here through the use of advanced manufacturing um, and extended reality. So we've deployed it here with, with two 3D printers. Both of them are, um, are polymer printers. They can print small, um, high strength, high quality nylon parts, which are inlaid with, with carbon fiber to provide that extra strength. Um, they're designed in such a way that they can be deployed in an austere environment, um, so they can print on the move um, or print in any environment that we need them to across the world. The benefit to maintainers on the battlefield is, is huge. Uh, we will be able to produce parts forward on the battlefield and return war fighting equipment to the war fighters um, in hours rather than days um, and, and effectively what we'll do is we'll allow the war fighters to win the first fight.